All right, all right. So it's uh, day 19, and it's also National Aviation Day. I don't really know what that means. Uh, I have flown in lots of planes over my lifetime. Um, let's see, most interesting time I had on a plane. Okay, the first time that I ever flew on a plane, I went to Thailand from Rochester, New York. Now, I think, this was way back in 1992, and the memory's a little hazy, but uh, when I remember travel time from when I left Rochester and landed in Bangkok, Thailand, um, now this isn't total flying time, but the, the time to do that was 27 hours. That's a long time to spend uh, for your very first plane ride. Um, it was a very, very unique experience to go from never having flown in a plane to becoming a you know, not only airplane flyer, but international traveler. Um, it was pretty cool. My uncle at the time worked for a phone company who was setting up a base of operations out there and they invited him down there when he retired to work three more years, uh, make six figures, um, and not have to really do too much. He had a company car, uh, they paid for the high rise American building that he stayed in. So he said to me, you know, hey, just pay for the plane fare um, and come on down. And I did that for two weeks. I got a visa and I was there for two weeks. The plane ride was surreal. Um, I'm not the kind of guy who does well uh, sleeping out of my own bed. Uh, I can't really sleep in cars too well, trains, not so much. Um, sleepovers when I was a kid in other people's houses didn't really do too well. And not shockingly, uh, it didn't really work too well on a plane either. Um, the flight from like, I think sh Chicago to Japan was like something like 13 hours. That was the longest one. And that one was pretty brutal. Uh, everybody else was sleeping around me and there I was. I tried everything. I tried eye shades, ear plugs. I tried blanket over my head. Nothing worked. Um, you know. But I do remember uh, some of the fun, two of the funnier things that happened. When we were approaching um, Japan, we were had to connect, or we had to connect to get another flight to Thailand. And I didn't account for the time change. So I was actually supposed to turn my watch back an hour. Um, so I thought it was landing an hour ahead and that I had missed my connecting flight. And you know, I'd already been traveling for, I don't know, a gazillion hours. So uh, I was pissed, and uh, some of the um, the stewardesses, you know, they could see my anger, and they, they they realized pretty quickly what it was, and they explained to me, "Sir, you got to set your clock back. Um, you're you're more than on time." So that was a big relief. Uh, the flight from Japan to Bangkok was a lot shorter. Um, when we landed in Bangkok, I, I went with my girlfriend at the time. Uh, we managed to get my luggage, but for some reason. Unbeknownst to us, her luggage uh, went to Hawaii. So there, I you know there we were, two English-speaking foreigners, Americans, in this this Bangkok airport, and there was like nobody who was American. There was nobody who spoke English. Um, I think it took us like an hour and a half to find somebody. My uncle got so worried that he snuck in through customs the the reverse way. This was way before 9/11 and and terrorism and all that stuff. And he managed to find us and, and uh, <clears throat> you know, we, uh, we, we, we got through okay and got our luggage the next day. Um, but by far the funniest thing, so we're flying, you know, into Bangkok and I'll never forget the stewardess brings out this little tray um, for me and my, my girlfriend. And on the tray, there's these two white things. And you know, they were like that big, rolled up. And I thought, what are they? Are they are they burritos? I mean, we're going to an Asian country, why are they serving burritos? Um, so you know, she she's got the tray out for me and her, and my girlfriend had never flown either, it was her first time. And we're kind of looking at it, looking to the stewardess, looking at it, looking at the stewardess, and she says, It's to wipe your face, it's a hot washcloth. And uh, you know, everybody laughed and everything. Man, I gotta tell you, after flying for you know, traveling for 27 hours. That was probably the best damn hot washcloth I ever had to wipe my face. But uh, 
You know, the flight home was much less eventful. Our time there was great. Um, we saw like the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. Adam, you would love it. Uh, five foot, I think it was five feet tall statue made out of solid jade um, that was uh, in the shape of Buddha. It was crazy. We had to, uh, my, my girlfriend had to wear like a dress and, and we had to wear long clothing when we went in the temple, you know, because of all the Hindu rites and stuff like that. We couldn't point our feet at the temple. Uh, got to walk on the, the bridge on the River Kwai, you know, that little whistly tune. Um, got to uh, see King Cobras, uh, asps. Um, I, uh, just that going to a foreign country makes you appreciate the things that you had in the United States. The very little animal rights laws, um, uh, massive, massive people. Uh, there was like electrical wires everywhere. Um, you know, just um, homeless people everywhere. Um, dogs everywhere. Uh, you walk down uh, the main street in Bangkok and there's, there's elephants walking around in cars and in smog and you know it was a great experience. I don't know if I would ever go back again. Uh, wouldn't have been my first place to go but uh, it was a great great learning experience for me. I, I, I learned a lot doing that. Um, so you know that's that's my airplane story. Uh, happy, happy National Aviation Day. It was a cooker out there today. Um, it, again it's really hot and humid. And uh, to make matters worse, my damn Garmin, like, it, it must be so humid, it kind of like fritzed at the end there, and it didn't even record my whole ride. It cut off like six one hundredths of a mile, which isn't much, so who really cares? But uh, I'm beat. I'm going to go inside, stretch, take a nice shower, have some Powerade, and uh, make some dinner. So hope everyone is doing well. We are on the back stretch of Zen Veda. And uh, it's, it's been a cool experience so far. Talk to you guys later. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye.